Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geese here at Mobile World Congress 2014 at the LG event. Guess what I just grabbed? That's the new LG G Pro 2. So this is a brand new phablet, the successor of the, so, well, at that time it was called the Optimus G Pro. So they got rid of the Optimus branding, which in my opinion makes perfect sense. So this is the G Pro 2. Um, let me give you a little bit of rundown on the specs. Um, this is a 5.9 inch full HD IPS display. It's absolutely gorgeous and kind of reminds me already on the G2, but it's a very thin bezel here. We have a 2.1 megapixel camera on the front. There's a 30 megapixel camera with an optical image stabilizer. They call it OIS Plus right now, so they kind of improved it over the one of the G2, I would guess. Uh, in general, it's quite quite light, 172 gram for uh, a device that big. That's really cool. Um, it's only 8.3 millimeters thick and comes with a 3200 milliampere hour battery, um, which also gives you definitely uh, all day battery life. It's based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, so that's a quad core, a quiet architecture coming with the Adreno 330 GPU, another improvement over um, the previous version or the Optimus G Pro. Um, let's take a quick look around the device. As you can tell, there's only a micro USB down at the bottom. Uh, we have a jack for your headset and that's about it because it's already using the same, not already, it's using the same features as the LG G2. So what you have over here is this kind of um, power button here on the back. But by the way, you can also use it to take selfies like this, which is perfect for all these people that are uh, loving to use Instagram all day long. Um, and it also comes with a knock on feature. Let me just try to do this. There we go. I really love this with the LG G2, which still is my favorite five inch smartphone. In terms of the UI, let's just quickly take a look at which version of Android it's running. About phone, software information, here we go. So it's running KitKat 4.4.2. Um, first impression, this is a proper successor of an already great device. Um, actually, you know what, I have the original one over here and I've been using this for about half a year. At that time, in my opinion, one of the best tablets that's been out on the market. But what we see right now is like a hybrid of the Optimus G Pro and the LG G2. Can't tell you anything about the pricing right now, only that this is um, probably one of my favorite tablets or phablets for this year. So this is the first look at the new LG G Pro 2 and social for mobile geeks. Thanks for watching.